here's another dimensional analysis problem. We're trying to convert 8.400 times 10 to the negative second centimeters into kilometers. Centimeter and kilometer are both versions of the standard scientific unit of length, which is a meter. Lowercase k stands for kilo, which is defined to be a thousand or one times 10 to the third. Lowercase c is centi, 1 times 10 to the negative 2. Both of these are found in Olmsted and Williams Table 1.2, which you have to memorize the letters and the definitions of those letters from mega down to pico. Once you have that table memorized, this is a straight dimensional analysis problem. The unknown we're looking for is the distance kilometers. We're going to set that equal to the known distance of centimeters. One unit of distance turned into another unit of distance. Both of these are forms of a meter. So if we turn centimeters into the base unit of meters first, then we can do a second conversion and turn meters into kilometers. So we're going to break this up into two steps rather than trying to make the conversion in one step. We're using table 1.2 values that says centi c is defined to be 1 times 10 to the negative 2. So in other words, 1 centimeter, we can rewrite that and replace this c with the 10 to the negative 2 value and then we still have the meter unit. What this shows is that the c centi and the value of c are always on opposite sides of this equal sign. They will always be on opposite sides when you do the dimensional analysis conversion fraction. So one centimeter in the bottom is equal to one times ten to the negative two meters in the numerator. Same sort of thing with capital K, cap or lowercase k rather. Lowercase k is kilo, so one kilometer we replace kilo k with its value 1 times 10 to the third and then we still have the meter. One kilometer in the top is equivalent to 1 times 10 to the third meters in the denominator. And this gives us an answer of 8.400 times 10 to the negative second kilometers. Notice centimeter canceled in the first conversion, meters canceled in the second conversion, and we're left with kilometers. One thing to always check is that the units are what the problem is asking for. We were looking for kilometers, we ended with kilometers. And the other question to ask yourself, is that answer a reasonable answer? Which one is bigger, a kilometer or a meter, is the kind of question you should ask yourself when you get an answer to a problem such as this one. A kilometer is a much bigger unit. So 10 to the negative 7 kilometers makes sense comparing it to 10 to the negative 2 centimeters. Because if this is the distance of 1 kilometer, this is the distance of 1 centimeter. When we're changing to a much bigger unit like kilometers, our answer will be a lot smaller than it will be for centimeters.